Hi guys, this is Stephen Cloud. In this video, I will discuss about Amazon AWS, the biggest cloud provider in the world right now. They have a huge head start compared to GCP and Microsoft Azure, so it is really beneficial for us to learn it right now. Today, we will learn on how to create a free account that gives us a head start in diving into the world of cloud for free. Again, compared to Google that only gives us 3 months, um, AWS is very generous in providing us with 12 months for free tier limited services. So let's get down to it. Before we start, I would like to apologize in advance that though I will show you most of the steps, there are some that I cannot show you because it contains my personal data. But worry not, since you have to input different values on your own, it will not affect you in any disadvantageous way. So let's get started. Right now I'm in Google and I can just query here Amazon AWS free tier account and just open the first link that Google gave me. On my case, since I'm in Germany, I will be redirected to the German version of the website, but it's okay because I can just change the language to English easily on the top right of the page. Before we create an account, if you scroll downwards, you can see all what the free tier can offer. So you have 750 hours on EC2, which is basically the server in AWS. You will have 5 gigs on Amazon S3 bucket, which is basically Amazon Blob Storage, 750 on RDS, Amazon Rapid Database System, or basically Table and many more. With these basic services, there are so many applications that we can create. Once you are convinced that this is a good deal, <laughs> just go on top and click on the Create a Free Account button. The process of registering here is pretty much standard. In the first step, you put in here the email address and the password. In my case, I will blur my personal data because I'm 10 billion percent sure that we have different email address. And once you're done, let's click on the button to go to the next step. Ah, I forgot one thing. Before we can move to the next step, it is normal if we got to do CAPTCHA. I know it's a daunting task, but believe me, I know that you can do it. The third step is to confirm your identity by inserting your phone number. It is in the terms and condition that your phone number will be strictly used for your cloud billing purposes and not for marketing. There are two ways on confirming your phone number, either per SMS or call. Personally, I like the SMS way better because I don't have to rewrite the code anymore since it's written for me in the SMS. AWS is a service provider, so they charge per service basis. There are three different memberships in AWS, the basic, developer, and business support. Basic support is rather limited, but it's free. However, if you are stuck on a problem, you basically have to search for the answer yourself. With the developer support, you have the chance to ask Amazon specialists directly regarding how to proceed forward. And lastly, when you have a business support, Amazon will be very responsive in helping you and your AWS infrastructure. Uh, but for now, let's begin with the basic support. Congratulations, you have now successfully created a request to open your Amazon AWS. Now let's go to your AWS Management Console by clicking the button. So this is your AWS Management Console. Please think of this like the landing page of your AWS. You can see here a lot of services are already available to you. It's important as well for you to know that you have this almighty search bar above where you can quickly find the service that you want to open. For example, right now I will search for CloudWatch. And as we see here, um, not all the services are unlocked for now. It takes up to 24 hours to let AWS finish preparing all the services, basically. So see you in 24 hours. Hey all, welcome back. Again, this is the landing page and we can see the list of services we can use. It's a lot and even for the associate certification, you don't need to know all of them. I decided to leave the CloudWatch for now because it's not that important. Speaking of something important, the most important service in my personal opinion is EC2. 
EC2 is basically an Amazon server. In simple terms, you can order and run part of Amazon server here. As you can see, I'm successfully able to open EC2 landing page and able to see the information here. Coming back to the management console, another important service that I want to check is S3 Bucket. You can search it in the search bar, and also there's another way, which is just using the list that Amazon has provided. We can go under the storage group and select S3. As we can see here, we are able to open S3 successfully. We are not going to discuss how to use it yet, but stay tuned for more. I mean, we can check through all of the services, but I believe we don't have to since this tool already allows us to do so many things like creating static website for example and so on. Anyways, that was the first tutorial on how to open a free tier Amazon AWS account. I hope you guys enjoy my tutorials and I'm curious of what you think. Hopefully my explanations help to encourage you to dive in directly into the world of cloud. I find it fascinating that Amazon helps us in providing the option to freely try out cloud infrastructure. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this free tier and about my video. And see you next time.